Well, hello. Hi, everyone. How's it going? This is Saki. And yeah, welcome to the stream. So, as the title suggests, uh, I got uh, some new... Uh, well, not new. I just played a little bit with the settings to make my model like a little bit smoother and uh, bouncy as well. <laughs> as you can see, it, it does bounce more. I immediately improved the, the physics. As you can see, see like the physics improved as well. It bounced more. <laughs> oh god. And yep. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Just testing. Ooh, smile. Touch. <laughs> so yeah. Uh. Uh. Just gonna wait for uh, people to join, I suppose. As I don't know if how many we are right now. I think we are, let's say, three. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. I think I can see people. I know there's a way to look at the people. Uh, look at who's in the chat. I don't know how, though. <laughs> Uh, oh, there it is. I can see the view. So the view isn't. Um, no, I don't know. I'm shit. I, I don't even know how to look at the who's. Oh, hi, a rebel. Hi. Yeah, because I know there's another there's an option to look at how many people who's in the chat, like the actual names. But I don't know how. <laughs> mm. I literally have no idea how. The, the, the chat goes so, <clears throat> goes so many options. Jesus. It's like massive, the options uh, of, the, of the chats. Like I'm, I'm, lo I'm looking to, uh, through the chat settings, and it's absolutely insane, really, how how many, how many, how many options there are <laughs> for the chats. It's, hilar it's hilarious, honestly. But yeah, so seems like my body tracking, my, well, my news, my new settings are working pretty fine. I actually like them. They're very smooth. They're really, really, really smooth. I'm proud. I'm proud of my, of, uh, my work. Well, my work. Uh, <laughs> gotta thank my mom, I suppose, for the rigging. But in the end, uh, I, I managed to, like, set up uh, the smoothness. Because I, I didn't even know you could. I mean, yeah, I knew you could do that. But I had no idea if I should play with it a little bit. Uh, but I did. I, I did end up playing with it. And I'm proud of the results, honestly. I'm really proud. I'm really proud of this. Uh, of this game, literally. I'm literally happy. So, I suppose we can maybe soon. We could probably start playing some of the warriors like uh, I planned. But I just want to see first uh, how many people are going to join, or we can just chat. I don't know. Uh, I I decided to play some of the warriors. So, I do want to play the game. I don't want to play some some of the warriors today. It's like uh, one of my comfort games. Samurai Warriors 1. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna wait to see people join. Because there's still no, not that many. Uh, just waiting, really. But yeah, maybe I should probably just go. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go play some sound with the waters, cause why the fuck not? 
Uh, better than standing here, really. So let's move our model. Mm, hold on. Yeah, mate, just set the game, hold on. Okay, should be fine now. Okay, there we are. Uh, suppose everything's running smoothly. Let me just check on the stream. If everything, you you you'll see lag for for a bit. Yeah, the stream is actually good quality. That's good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay, we can we can start. So, hmm. About the story mode, I, have, I mean, uh, I've done Ramaru, I've done uh, Yukimura story, but I've only done uh, this historical part. I've not done um, um, the other side, story, the other side of the story, because I need to play, I need to finish Shingen story, but I don't want to play as Shingen, not today. I don't feel like playing as Shingen today, so we're just going to play with, an, with, an, with another character. I feel like maybe we could play as. Uh, I don't know. I want to play as um, a some badass character, to be honest. I feel like playing Starakatsu. Let, let's definitely go play Starakatsu. Definitely. Thank you, Onibu, for uh, choosing the Kitsune's Guide and welcome to the stream. Welcome. Enjoy your stay. And don't forget, uh, the Kitsune does not bite uh, as long as you're a lurker. No, just kidding. The Kitsune does not bite uh, her followers, especially those who choose her guides. So, uh, welcome. Welcome, and I shall see you soon, then. I'll start with Tarakatsu's story. It's, it's definitely one of, one of my favorite characters in this game. Tarakatsu, let me hear your thoughts. Of course. If I were you, my lord, this is what... Be caught in a dragonfly. <laughs> I would do. Basically back, backstabbing, that's what he will do. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> I like it. I like Tarakatsu's way of thinking. Although this is more like uh, Onda Masanobu's way of thinking, not exactly Tarakatsu. But since Onda Masanobu is not in the game, they will put uh, Tarakatsu instead to 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 behave like uh, uh, Ieyasu strategist because uh, Ieyasu does not have any strategist with him. So uh, it will make it make it just make sense really. But it's fine. Okay. What oh, tag bracer? They should have uh, had Masan Masanobu in Summoner Wars for five. They, they should definitely have had him in my also I love profile. Welcome for the stream. And yes, they should definitely have Masanobu. Uh because now, as you can see, in Summoner Wars 1, we have we do have Tarakatsu uh like playing uh playing like playing playing a part of the strategist for AAS, yeah, which is which is a bit weird. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's basically it. It shouldn't really be a, a, a strategist when that, that's, that will be Matsunobu's role. Yes, I know I know he joined Matsunaga. <laughs> he told me like millions of times. 
And yes, I'm also aware. Oh, I got an Arabian saddle. And what am I doing with this? Um. Now oh, the war rations. Yeah, let's go with a lock. I, I I don't know. I just put some my, some of my favorite NPCs as as bodyguards' names. It's interesting for Top to go return to join anti the uh, rebellion. That's true. Tokugawa hereby declare independence. Hanzo, find out where Yashimoto is. Tarakatsu, attack Washizu and destroy the. That, uh, that, that is very weird, indeed. I don't know. I personally, I, I, I'm kind of okay. Um, I, 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 it does make sense, in my opinion, for. Um, I'm post full screen, hold on. Hold on a sec, you'll see lagging now. Because uh, I'm trying to, but I want to swap to full screen. There we go. Yeah, I know Tadakatsu's voice actor is uh, Tsao Tsao. It's indeed him. Uh, here's gonna like it's like a little uh, more so I feel like maybe there now it's not gonna lock okay yeah I know he's basically uh, tell us voice actor and uh, hello honey boo honey boo what <laughs> I like your name honey boo <laughs> if I just if I just stream any more shit on dreams oh yeah definitely I finished it myself that game like recently though and I, I really I really uh, had fun one of my favorite Onimusha definitely well done. Now, I would really love to just stream Onimusha down on dreams eventually but I need to go in order I suppose I, mean, I wasn't even thinking to stream on Imusha 2, actually. But... Yes, I know Yukimura's voice actor voice Bankotsu, so I, I know that already. Like, the best Inuyasha character, the best was Bundle. But I need, seriously need to make some combination with Saki and... Uh, uh, Bankotsu. I think that, that that will look great. I already something planned. Maybe when I get paid, I'll see if, uh, if I can manage to commission something cool. Oh, that, that, that's Nanato, uh, Nanato's dad. Better than second washing? No! Nah. Second washing is uh, still my favorite ship. But I can, but I, but. Bankots is definitely gonna be a, a, also perfect choice. Uh, theoretically, Saki's husband is, is Yukimura, but I ship the I ship the bitch with uh, <laughs> loads of other characters as well. <laughs> there's there's not our grandpa's one in this battle. Yes, there is. <laughs> there's all the E family. All the E family joined uh, the massacre of the Himagawa. Hello. Show me what you can do. Well, that's a nice uh, intro. <laughs> And so we honestly hear in, in Sato's voice actor as uh, uh, Tarakatsu, really. I, am Tarakatsu Hondo. I, have come to see what I mean, it's... I, he does voice Mori Yoshinari in Kessin 3, so that, that that's not weird to me. Because it was Mo, um, Yoshinari in Kessin 3. The thing is, I mean, he does fit Yoshinari as a character, but... Tarakatsu? I am not sure, though, if it exactly fits Tarakatsu. Me. 
The command of Megawa should have been given to Shizani instead of Yoshimoto. Definitely! I always say that. But... I, they, I don't know if they are going to make uh, Yoshizane playable, really. Time to be born. Oh, come on. Like, what do you mean, just the wrong time to be born? You were so eager to reach the capital and everything, and now you regret to be born. Mm. See, I don't like how they make Yoshimoto like a coward in this game. He's way too coward. And he's, that's definitely the opposite of what Yoshimoto was historically. Like, he was not that, that much of a pussy, honestly. Oh, exterminating everybody and uh, exterminating the ghosts of the past. That's something that Yayatsu is good at, actually. Yeah, I know. One of the best things Samurai Spy was indeed to want to redesign Yoshimoto because that's how Yoshimoto was actually supposed. It was actually historically. Now, I really hope they can do it the same way with many other characters, even outside Samurai Warriors. I mean, redesigning. The redesign of the characters needs to be... It needs to be had to other two others, not just uh, Yoshimoto. Then what are we gonna do? Bring out the Oda main camp? What is the... I got so many uh, uh, objectives, really. Before Nomuraga returns. This is this is this is the problem with all Samurai Warriors. There's always so many missions popping at the same time that you get confused uh, and you you have no idea where to start, uh, where to go. It's a little bit annoying, but okay, it's okay. No worries. Just check. Quickly checking if the stream is of on good quality, it will lag a little bit. You guys will see a lag. Just bear with me. It does seem to be fine. So far, so good. And complain. Can't complain, really. No, because I always need to check. The quality of the stream and everything here, just in case. Oh yeah, so far it seems good. Ding. The Garden Summoner is 5, I look way too young, look at Yes, I mean, the Yoshi! Me and the Yoshi! Def, def, the, the Yoshi has are definitely way too young. I said, if they're not gonna hate up Yoshi in the Yoshi, at least don't make them look like they're 50 or something. No, definitely. So, I mean, the Yoshi was not that young, to be honest. He also think he was pretty young, but in the Yoshi, I'm not sure. I don't think he was that young. He must have been his late 20s or something. Let's go! Let me see if there's Nah, I really hope put my the stream quality is actually good. Nah, I'm par I just get paranoid if the stream quality is bad. So I keep checking. That's what's when I alt tab it will lag for that reason. Kambi look way too young as well. Yeah, way too young and way too healthy. <laughs> May I just say, way too healthy as well. He look way too healthy, Kambi. For someone who was, um, who was actually, uh, almost blind, and, uh, it, it, it was, um, struggling to walk. Uh, I don't know what's, what's the term. Crippled. It was crippled. Kambi was crippled. There we go. Yeah, it was crippled, Kambi, so. Uh, I don't really understand why they actually decided to make him look that healthy. I don't know. I am it just feels weird to me.
Kanbe Japanese go high. Yeah, I mean, but but but, but that, that makes sense for Kanbe to be. What? I already got the third weapon. What the fuck? Okay, this is the rarest moment. Oh, it's because I got lock. That that makes sense. Because I got the, the lock item I have. It does make sense. It is shit, but still, a third weapon on the first level, it's extremely rare. But it makes sense because I got the lock item. My lock item is quite good, so... That makes that totally makes sense. So for Guai to be that hill does not make sense. But, uh... For, um... For Kam... For Kamei, for Kamei, uh, does make sense. Yeah, Naga, Nagamasa definitely can be son. Uh, I do think it should be playable. I, I totally agree. Because it's an important card to Sekigahara. How do you not make him playable? If they need to focus on, on Sekigahara, they need to make uh, Kuroda, Nagama, Nagamasa, uh, Morichika, Terumoto. What well, Terumoto theoretical is already there. They just need to make him older. Kobayakawa, AK. Hiro Yekikawa. New Kambi looks the most accurate. He is actually extremely accurate. He is the most accurate Kambi ever. That version, the version of Neo. Sick, hail, crippled, with a bad eyesight. Yeah, I did say Yukita. Yeah, Konishiki Yukinaga, so we can see and argue with Kiyomasa. We can probably see Kiyomasa's uh, real side if they had the uh, Konishi. So I want to see Kiyomasa literally getting pissed off at uh, uh, Yukinaga. But probably that won't happen because... If it gets pissed off, it will, it will be probably about the the Korean campaigns, and th th this seems like Koei will not will not mention the Korean campaigns uh, at all. So they just refuse to to even like slightly mention the Korean campaigns. They pretend they don't exist. Uh. They completely like pretend that the, that the Korean campaigns do not exist. Don't be so hasty. We have to plan our retreat carefully. Surrounded. Unless he must get killed by Anzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a rumor that he was killed by Anzo, theoretically. Assassinated, actually. Doesn't have to be Anzo. But I pretty sure, I, I strongly believe Kyomasa was assassinated. I don't believe the fact that he died he, he, of illness. It was too weird. How he was. How all of a sudden he, 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 he went hail after he was returning to Osaka with uh, with Idiori. Nah, I don't believe it. This, something's not right. That Idiori's face is absolutely... It was one of the most funny <laughs> expression ever. Like... Hey. <laughs> Hmm. I think I did a good job with improving my my smoothness, but the face and eye tracking. So we're getting a step close for the butte. Getting a step closer to the debut because we are actually doing a good making progress. But I do first want to commission a trailer, a video trailer for my debut.
So I'm just waiting. Probably I'll get paid or something to see somebody will com will take commissions for a video trailer. It doesn't need to be like anything like extremely long, just like a short one. So I won't, I won't I probably won't have to pay much money for a video trailer like that. Hopefully. I never commissioned a video trailer, I don't even know what I want. I don't know, I just want something cool and fancy really, that's all I want. Uh, so... You take all the glory. This is absolutely the best design of Tarakatsu, by the way. My favorite design. I also like his secondary outfit with the cape. Where am I? We're going to meet with Ieyasu in the south. The hell, let's meet with, with him. <laughs> it's, I think I think uh, Nagamasa's voice actor is voiced by Sun Chuan. It sounds like Sun Chuan to me. <laughs> It has to be Sun Chuan. That's that. That's that's the voice. I do recognize the voice. Wow, we're gonna we're gonna literally go Come forth if you jump fay mode here against Oichi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep your heads up, everyone. Mm. Oh, she's such a threat. Such such a menacing girl. What a menacing girl she is, honestly. Enemy officer defeated. Like I have some competition. Don't wait, I just noticed Maguichi is on our side. That's extremely rare for Maguichi. Um, to be on our side in Samurai Warriors One. Considering that in, in Samurai Warriors One vanilla story, you always see Maguichi so uh, pissed off and anger Nobunaga that it's weird to see Maguichi in Samurai Warriors One uh, siding with Nobunaga. Oichi. I do this for you. Yeah, that's definitely Sun Chuan. I think he's, he, has, he has a cool design in Samurai Warriors 1. And I do like it. It's, it's very simple and uh, and cool. Yeah, Nagamasu in Samurai Warriors 1 really has a cool design. I do, I do like it. I really like his armor. It's very simple. Why do you use your power only for bloodshed? It, it is pretty good. I shall not fall behind. I can't catch up. Kinda wish now they made him playable. Hey Mind if I join the party? You have to hold them off just a while longer. I mean, I will play as him even with a spear, but nor with a generic spear. I don't mind. Nothing wrong with a generic spear. I think the generic spear in the, in in, the, in Samurai Warriors is pretty good because it does something. Look, the generic weapons at least uh, do something different from the generic weapons in some in Nasty Warriors. They have unique move set. In, in in some of the warriors, the generic uh, weapons, but in uh, Dusty Wars they don't have they don't they, they don't have unique move set. Well, in some of the warriors, the, the generic the generic weapons got unique move set, but not in Dusty Wars. Because in Dusty Wars they do get like mixed moves from every officer, but in uh, some of the warriors, the sword 
the spear and the naginata they they all three they do have the unique moveset and that's what i like about about this uh the npc weapons because they do have fucking unique moveset I mean, it's fun really it's a good idea some of the waters is just way ahead of dusty warriors sometimes uh, especially when we're talking about moveset Except uh, you should guess someone that was one extreme legend someday. But this is someone that was one extreme legends. I am playing as Tarakatsu. This is extreme legends. You know Tarakatsu store. Tarakatsu is only playable in extreme legends, right? So this is extreme legends. I mix the game. Good going. Now you mentioned the officer. Yeah, they. Yeah, they do have unique moveset. Because uh, they use ge the generic weapons. The generic weapons they do have unique moveset. Uh, long as you to draw. Okay. I'm gonna make way for them for for the two conquerors of Japan. I'm gonna make way for them. That's allowed them to be dropped. What can I say? Hello. What sucks about Samurai Wars 1 is that don't have charge 5s, they only have up to charge 4, sadly. The enemy withdraws. Don't miss this opportunity. That's the, like, the that's like the, the only thing I don't like. I am unmatched. Hmm. Okay. Another is the fan. Oh. I don't want this. I'm progressing so far with the story. I mean, other than other than I mind. Probably because uh, <laughs> I made him quite uh, quite broken. Probably. <laughs> that is that I just now uh I mean I, I'm I'm killing everybody so easily. No, I'm not gonna play on hard because our difficulty is actually it is actually real. The difficulty level in Samurai Warriors you need to be careful, honestly. You were incredible, Taragatsu. Yes. Truly amazing, like the legends of old. Attack me if you dare. I, Tadakatsu, will take on any opponent. Tell me more. for my lord my loyalty knows no bounds and are you willing to die for him as well yeah. foolish 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 <laughs> this is uh, such a badass I even in front of Nobunaga, like bullish. <laughs> that this Tarakatsu probably has to be the, the most badass counterpart. No, like that the little kid we have in Samurai Warriors Five. That one is rubbish. Ooh, Mikatagahara. Now we will see Tarakatsu's true potential. And Mikatagahara. Foolish.
Mm. <laughs> we are good. We are good. We are ready now to face the mighty Takeda Carly. <laughs> oh, wait. That's uh, Am I to fight my husband? No, that's probably my husband. Are you playing a longer story campaign? I can do that later. Once I finish Tarakatsu, once I finish Tarakatsu, yeah. Also, welcome, Persona. Where's your Kimura? Ow, 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 ow. Okay, so here we go, like, uh, two options. See the, the green one. Ow! What the fuck, Yamada? Oh, this bitch is aggressive. Why is this so... Why Yamada is so fucking aggressive, dude? Now, calm down, bro. I assume you do like Nobunaga. We shall do our duty as well. If you ask, you definitely do. Not bad, Iyasu. Not bad. Also, I'm glad there's actually people who are, um, was knowledge about Musou in my in my stream. Because I mean, I do mention that I'm also a Musou player, so this is something I feel like people need to know as well. That my content will also be uh, Musou. Sometimes, occasionally, not always, not always. I won't always play Musou games, so that's the thing. Just, I just enjoy them, really. I've been enjoying them since I was a kid, and I don't see myself stopping playing them anytime soon. Actually, never. It's all I've been playing, literally, all my life. So, Jesus is broken with the lightning. I mean, lightning is, is a broken element in general. That's my husband there. Now that's my husband. We gotta find my hus my hobby. And uh, his loyal ninja. His loyal Kunoichi. We shall not be far behind. Forward. Nice, we eliminated all the Takeda Carly. So, we, I don't know which pad we opened uh, of Tarakatsu. If the button or the top. Hmm, button or top, which pad do you think I unlocked? Oh, all, all, all to go to withdraw. Okay, that's not, that's not an easy object to do. Witness the fury of my spear. Oh, please. Let me witness it. Let me feel it. But you feel the fear of my Tombokiri first. <laughs> no more one my face. It's like a figure of the warp. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad, actually. I believe Japan would have been a completely different country if he hadn't been trained. Indeed, I, all, I think the same. I also think the same. Because Nobunaga brought such good revolution to, to Japan, he literally brought Japan in, in the true modern day. Literally, Hideyoshi and Ieyasu ruined Japan because thanks to Hideyoshi and Ieyasu especially, the Tokugawa Shogunate, Japan it is what it is nowadays because of, of, the, of the Tokugawa Shogunate. Because they shut, uh, uh, Tokugawa shut down the country, the they done everything in order to persecute foreigns. Literally, they, they, they done all sorts of shit. And yeah, Nobunaga did everything in order to open Japan to the to the outside world because Nobunaga was extremely interested in in, in other cultures. 
he wanted to open his mind something that no other japanese wanted to do this is why i love nobunaga he's definitely one of my historical figures as well Although Nobunaga was absolutely corrupted by power and everything, and he, he started to like commit some atrocities, and that's why he got backstabbed by Mitsuhide. Because there was a rumor saying um, Nobunaga apparently said to Mitsuhide that if he becomes a monster, he has to kill him, and so Mitsuhide did. That's just a rumor, though. It's just legend. I'm not creepy. <laughs> She's on duty, sorry, no running away on duty. She's a good Kunoichi. Alright, we failed to let all the Takeda Kali escape. Not good. I mean that 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 that's why I say it's like probably the hardest ob object to do. Because they literally die like like ants, basically. They're made of paper, our allies, so they will definitely die. A splendid show I mean, unless we level up really sky high, or we do this in the easiest difficulty, then we won't be able to, to do that objective, really. I mean, we can do it, probably even do it on normal. But it's just that objective is a bit tedious, because... Because we are we are bad. Because our allies will die too easily. Honestly, that's uh, it's not like the only objective that is like that. Unfortunately, many Musou games has this objective where you need to uh, protect your allies, but they end up dying so easily that it will make it too tedious for you to continue to, to to literally do it. So it is bad. Only Shinger remains. What the fu- Oh, I hate these guys. I suppose I shall humor you. Well then, amuse me. Shingen <laughs> Takeda! You want to know your true strength? Yeah, I do! Shingen Takeda! <laughs> I like how he says his name. Shinge Takeda. <laughs> Shinge Takeda. Takeda. What does Shinge sound like? Uh, Donjo. Because, because that's his voice actor. That's why he sounds like Donjo's voice actor. Because that's him <laughs> voicing Shinge. It is Donjo's voice actor. If they sound like some certain voice actors because they're voiced by then, <laughs> I mean, that should be obvious. No, nah, Shingen is not the. Oh. <laughs> shall return to the earth. He shall return to Donjo's body and spirit. There we go. Also. What is true strength? A foolish question. Oh, Miel, thank you for choosing the Kitsune's guy. Also, hi, how are you doing? I still have not found true strength. My fear knows only victory. Oh, finally got a level 2 weapon. Hi, Miel, how are uh Hi! Hi, hi! How are you doing? <laughs> That's nice to see you. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you, thank you. I saw you got red. Congrats! Congrats! Looks, I like, I like how your ears moves. I mean, my ears, they, they don't like move like yours. I didn't even go up and down. Mine's are pretty straight, as you can see. See, like my ears are pretty straight. They don't really move, but they, they do move. It's just the, they be very pointy. Yeah. Oh, they are too. Okay, that makes sense. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it does make sense then, because uh, you choose you choose them as a two goal. Okay, it makes sense. I don't know. Maybe I should probably have the same. I don't know. I did think about to have that kind of two goal, but like, nah. But it's still cute. How you just like move them like that. <laughs> I've I ordered some two goals myself. Um, Dave, it's. Yeah, I did order some tugos myself. I'm still waiting for for those. I ordered some. I ordered nine tails and uh, a mask, a demon mask. What is it that waits on the other side of victory? Thank you. I like your model too. Yeah, nine tails. <laughs> Everyone thinks too hard about this. Fighting is fighting. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, I need. Right, Tadakatsu. I need to. Yeah, I know. I know. I need, I need to see what um. What's the progress about my two rolls? Because I ordered them recently. I'm not ordered them once. I ordered the model. Okay, then I'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by. We are, oh yeah we we got the the bottom part. Oh your work. Okay, have a nice day at work. Bye. How scary. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Oh, we cage it. <laughs> what, what, what? Oh god. What? What is? Wait. What the fuck is this? Kamana Kajima? Uh, Uesugi? What? Uh, mind blown as heck now. <laughs> Why are you fighting the US to get Kawana Kajima? Oh my goodness, I'm so mind blown. <laughs> this is not a historical route. Okay. Take over Hachimanvara. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of confused, uh, but now it makes sense because we are on the bottom part. The bottom part is usually the, the hypothetical part. I didn't know we were doing the hypothetical part. I mean, we have—I thought we failed to rescue our our uh, our allies and Mikatagahara. So this is weird. I thought we were following the historical route, route but apparently not. No, it's okay. I don't mind personally. <laughs> I'm literally not really bothered. I'm just gonna. I'm just playing, playing because uh, I want to finish the stories at least. I first focus on the stories. Then uh, when I have to do the, 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 the secondary objects, I'll do them. Really, it's not like a big deal to me. Shall not be far behind. Forward! Foolish Ieyasu. What are you trying to pull? There were quite a few uh, Nobunagas in the world history. I try studying them all when I find them. So, com so some are completely or no the world of it, but the li so their lives are so interesting and usually so tragic. Really. Interesting, interesting. Oh, we need to go occupy Chimambara. Alright, Saki, I'm gonna head off now. Take care, yeah. Okay, take care, Rebel, and thanks for stomping by. See you. Oh, the dot as well. Masamune too. <laughs> Masamune will get will always get in the way in every single battle. Typical. Splendid 
show of force. Ay. Ow. Ow. Enemy officer defeated. Imbeciles. Okay, calm down. If you cannot accept it, like, Bruce, calm down. You will have to defeat me before you witness this new area. Ow. Whoa. We got the same ones. <laughs> same saddle. We shall do our duty as well. Ow! <laughs> Fucking rifles, dude. Do not falter. We can still win. Ooh, badass. Mm, what's the this game can be mistaken. That's basically how it okay. Let's do this then. Oh bro, come on! <laughs> yeah, don't don't go, don't jump on the rice field that I got to. Rice field or whatever. I don't know how they're called. Them sacks where you contain where they contain the rice. Straw straw thingy. <laughs> oh shit! I can't believe I don't know what's the, what they're called. I I just call them straw thingy. Whatever. Strong straw containers. I don't think I can go this way. No, I can actually. I can go this way. Oh, Kanetsugu! <laughs> You're an NPC! Hello! NPC Kanetsugu! How are you? Oh shit, you're actually an NPC, Kanetsugu! Look at you! NPC than everything! <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's weird seeing Kanetsugu as an NPC. I don't think I've ever seen Kanetsugu as an NPC, you know? I think that's the, that was the first time I see Kanetsugu as an NPC. Hello? Come here. Where are you going? What are you doing? Don't run! <laughs> it's running. There we go. Shut down. Well, that's, uh, that's a surprise. Oh, we really have to do the long way. Are you kidding me? Ooh, <laughs> now that's a long way. <laughs> no, and that's what I call it, a long freaking way. <laughs> mm. Good coffee. Oh my god, I love my coffee. I just made some nice coffee. With my barista machine. Honestly, this coffee, it's sex. This does not look my good. goodness, I fucking love. Like, you guys have no idea how obsessed I am with coffee. Like, I'm probably like one of the most obsessed people uh, with coffee, really. I'm sure nobody heard of Francisco Solan Lopez of Paraguay, but the things he did as leader of Paraguay are amazing. Sorry to keep talking this subject, but I'm a big no, 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 absolutely not. Don't apologize. I'm a big history, history nerd myself, so don't worry. I do like talking about history because history is one of my favorite subjects. So. Yeah, I don't know who the guy is, but I, I mean, uh, I'm interested, so don't worry. 
Because I'm an Eastern nerd myself, so don't worry about it. Literally, don't worry. I mean, you should have seen that m m most of the games I play are, histori are historical based. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Summoner Warriors. Well, uh, so far, at least I play Summoner Warriors and Assassin's Creed Odyssey <laughs> as uh, historical games. But I do love historical games, so definitely. I like story based games, so I definitely also love history as well. So, yeah. De it definitely does not b bother me. This is like the channel where you can actually speak your mind about history because I'm interested about history. So you're you're basically at home. A splendid show of force. Although I've no idea who the guy is. <laughs> this does not look good. I have a friend who's a who's a big ass history history nerd. Because he does university, he is, is, is literally been in university for more than for all his life. What the fuck? They all shut down the doors. What, what am I supposed to do? Bro, they all shut down. So what, what am I supposed to get in there? Okay, this is weird. Uh, I'm interested into, into strategy and what if games. Yeah, me too. Victoria is one of my faves. I'm really excited for Victoria 3 when it comes out. Oh, strategy games, they are not my thing because I'm not good at them. I'm not good, I'm afraid. Although, I have played the uh, Roma Sutri Kingdoms and Nobunaga's Ambitions. I have them games. Even because I obtained Nobunaga's Ambition for free, uh, because Koei Tecmo gave me a code, a review code for Nobunaga's Ambition, but I do uh, I do play Nobunaga's Ambition and Roma Sutri Kingdoms. I, I'm, I'm big with strategy games. So the strategy games I, I, I play, they're mostly action-based and not exactly simulators. Uh, for example, Heroes of Might and Magic. I don't know if you know Heroes of Might and Magic. It's a newbies of game. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's a newbies of game. It's an newbies of game uh, uh, that is strategy based, but it's it is um, it's not like completely strategy. It's, more, it's like a turn based, like RPG strategy, basically. That's what it is. Don't make it too easy for me. Hey, I'm sick of waiting. But yeah, it seems like Victoria. Victoria is like a one of those uh, uh, simulator strategies. Yeah, that's, I'm not good at these games, I'm afraid. I wish I was. I really wish I was good. But sadly, I'm not. Honestly, I, you should try Ears of Mad and Magic. It's really good. I recommend the Ears of Mad and Magic Quest uh, of the Dragon Ball stuff for the PS2. And Ears of Mad and Magic 3. Ears of Mad and Magic 3 apparently is, is, every, is, is, uh, is everyone's favorite. Although my, my favorite is uh, the PS2 exclusive. Quest for Dragon Bone stuff, which I also brought in stream one day. But I'm gonna play it again. Cause uh I'm gonna play it better this time. Now I want to finish that game in li in live stream, Heroes of Mighty Magic, Dragon Bone stuff, Quest of the Dragon Bone stuff. I think uh, the Heroes of Mighty Magic series is kind of a need to miss. Because the new, I heard the new Heroes of Mana Magic are not that good. For example, 5 and 7 I heard are not very good. People complain that they're not good. Everybody says that 3 is the best, literally. I play 3, it's good. <laughs> nice moves you got there. It is good. Let us seize the momentum here. There's many Heroes of Mana Magic, by the way. There's literally loads. It's loaded with Heroes of Modern Magic games. It's literally loaded, like loaded, loaded. You have no idea how many games there are. It's literally insane. Uh, let me see. Okay. There he is, Kenshin. Show me the strength. Maybe as we are, three, okay. Ow, ow! Great Bishop Mountain! God of my ass! I will avenge my lord! No! To give them what they deserve. Yukimura, my husband! I'm still surprised we actually got the hypothetical route. Oh yeah, I'm also 
also a big fan of uh, the the Iliadus Wars, the War of Troy. I'm a big fan of that as well. I really seriously, to be honest, not of the individual games. I think I played Might of Magic 3 for the Super NES when I was younger. Mm, it was probably the it was probably on Super NES. It's, it's an old game. It is an old game, so it definitely was on Super NES. It's an ancient series, honestly. It, it, it is even a Game Boy Color game. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm curious to try the Game Boy Color version of Heroes of Mad and Magic. It, it looks awesome, the fact that a game like Heroes of Mad and Magic is on Game Boy Color. But yeah, it's, let's just say it's one of the most, um, I mean, it's kind of underrated, really. You either like it or not. This is why I'm saying it's a net and maze, the Heroes series. You either like it or not. <laughs> so, yeah. I come forth. Probably because it, it doesn't have like anything memorable, you know, when you play that with that series. It doesn't like exactly anything you, you, you get like overly hyped. Besides the third game, the third game apparently everybody loves the third game. I'm okay with it. I think he's alright. I played it, but I don't think he's like the best game ever. The best heroes. No. To me the best heroes if the uh, the quest for the Dragon Ball stuff. For the PS2. Unfortunately, that game is only for the PS2. It's not. It was not released on any other console. Never released on um, any other platform, either PC. Exclusive for PS2. Sadly, uh, it's a shame because that game deserves a lot. That game, in my opinion, is the best the heroes of Mad and Magic, West of the Dragon Ball stuff. So it's a shame. It's a big shame. That is not released uh, on any other consoles or a PC. I would like it to, uh, to be released on PC. That game deserves a PC port. What do you see, Kenshin? I don't know. What do you seek? The one who pursues true strength. Yeah, and what do you pursue, Kenshin? Besides the Bishamont and blah blah blah. For accepting my strength, Kenshin. You're so you're so kind. Oh. My god, everybody's like uh Katakas is like show me your strength, show me your strength. I <laughs> Literally this this is like the kind of person who he steps an ant and he's like Show me your true string, Mr. Hand. <laughs> That's the kind of person Tarakatsu is. Mm. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, I. Uh, he's obsessed with true strength. Oh, darkness. It's a good element darkness, but it's not as good as lightning. So I will keep the lightning. We will need this, the rally. Assisting any ally increase the increase the moral. We will need this to complete it, the objective to rescue every Tokugawa officer at Mikatakahara. So I will, I will focus on maxing this. Oh, the last battle, Yamazaki. Okay. Good, good. Last battle, then we finish uh, the bottom route of Tarakatsu. Then we will start a new story.
To spell Yamaz Yamasa Yamazaki wrong is Yamazaki, no Yamasaki. Yamasaki? I just noticed this. Yamasaki. <laughs> Yamasaki. Why does he have my name? It's not even how you spell a Yamasaki. It's not, you don't put my name on it. You put Yamazaki, not Saki. Thank you, game, for acknowledging my existence. But still, it's not Yamasaki. It's Yamazaki. Zaki with a Z, not S. But thank you so much, Samurai Warriors, for uh, acknowledging my existence. Uh, I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Mwah. <laughs> oh, God. Yamasaki. The Battle of Yamasaki. <laughs> you won't see me, don't worry. Oh, we're fighting Nobunaga. This is basically a what if. If Ieyasu um, rebels against Nobunaga and, and, and chooses his own path, basically. Quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. Tarakatsu Steam. Nice. Tarakatsu to the north, Yasumasa to the south. We shall attack them from all sides at once and crush them. Whoa. Spicy. Mountaino. They trying to make this battle look like the historical battle of Yamazaki. The way that the main focus is getting Mountaino. Like Hideyoshi did uh, against Mitsuhide. The Battle of Yamazaki was the historical battle where uh, Akech Mitsuhide uh, died uh, to Hideyoshi. But here... Oh my fucking god, his rifles. Well, that's so annoying. Ah! Go away! <laughs> I don't want you in my life! Everybody, go away, go away, rifles, go away. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone, I said. No! Leave me alone. Oh, Shibata. That's one of my favorite characters, Shibata Katsuhi. Personally, we'll never have worked if either Nobunaga or Tugawa had betrayed each other during the peak of their power. Then all the other diners will take in the, the chance to crush. But yeah, that's, that's the thing. Uh, the reason Nobunaga was so successful is because Tuga was always protecting his back. Yeah, that's true. Tuku because Yeyasu basically became uh, Yeyasu's uh, Yeyasu basically became Nobunaga's vanguard. Basically, if you noticed in every battle, the Tukugawa served as their vanguard. Uh, for example, in the battle of um, uh, Anegawa against the Azai. I'm pretty sure the, 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 the Tokugawa um, in the Battle of Hanegawa served as the vanguard. So yeah, that's the pro that's the problem. Like it, Nobunaga used the Tokugawa as a shield all the fucking time. Or oh, look at the look at the Battle of Mikatagahara. Uh, at the Battle of Mikatagahara, who suffered the biggest defeat? Uh the Ieyasu. Because Ieyasu was protecting Nobunaga's ass. That's the reason why at the Battle of Mikatagahara, Ieyasu uh, had to face the, the Takeda ar uh, army on his own, without even the assistance of the Oda. Because uh, Ieyasu was protecting the, the, the Oda. And Ieyasu lost so much on account of Nobunaga, because Ieyasu was always serving as the vanguard of Nobunaga. So yeah, that, that's also in part true. Uh, Nobunaga never failed because Tokugawa was protecting his ass, basically. But also because Nobunaga was very manipulative as well, like with every, even with the Shogunate. Nobunaga manipulated the Shogunate as well, so he also had um, the power of the Shogunate because he was manipulating the Shogunate as well. That's the thing. That's another thing why uh, Nobunaga was protected because uh, he was doing—he was basically like uh, fighting in, in, in the name of the Shogun. In other words, that uh, gave him an excuse to crush the other daimyos for that reason as well. Exactly, but Nobunaga was the kind of person that he was extremely charismatic and probably the most skilled negotiating politician in mind the person. But yeah, he was very. Ne in fact, I mean, look, look how negotiating he was. His skill of negotiation gave him the first African samurai, Yasuke. That that that. Proved
proves uh, how good Nobunaga was in negotiating. Because Nobunaga, three years before Nobunaga uh, passed away, he managed to acquire a slave, an African slave, uh, from an Italian merchant, uh, Alessandro Valignano. He was an, an Italian trader, uh, the one he bought Yasuke from, yeah. Yasuke is definitely one of the most uh, interesting historical figure and mysterious as well. Uh, yeah, because he was the first uh, African samurai who was recognized as a Japanese man. He was, uh, he, he was given the honor as, as of a samurai, uh, Yasuke, uh, because Nobunaga gifted him basically uh, a, a katana and, uh, and basically promoted him as a samurai. He was the first Western samurai. And uh, there was an interesting story also about Yasuke. Uh, Nobu when Nobunaga saw him having a bat, uh, Nobunaga was wondering why, uh, why, why is he, why is he not uh, washing? Why is he white is black? I mean, why is his skin is black? Because he told Nobunaga, he told he was dirty. He didn't, he, he didn't know. Uh, no, uh, Nobunaga did not know that that was actually his skin. Yeah, never couldn't believe a person could be black. I know. Yeah, that's what I was saying, indeed. <laughs> he, he thought it was body paint. He tried so he, he was looking. Uh, he asked having a bat, basically, and he couldn't believe it. Fun fact: Nobunaga is also the first Japanese man to eat bananas. <laughs> he is the first Japanese man to eat bananas. Holy shit! <laughs> that's actually an interesting thing. <laughs> He didn't only eat uh, uh, Ramaru's banana. <laughs> there was also that story regarding Ramaru. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but it could be true for what you know. Yeah, Nobunaga was also, also, um, the rifle thing. Uh, the why Nobunaga was successful in rifles is because Nobunaga was the first man to have found out the we, um, he recognized the weakness of the rifle and uh, he managed to find out how to make the rifles useful in battle. So one, one side uh, shoots and then uh, gets down and reload, then uh, the other side uh, shoots. It was like a chain, Nobunaga made like a chain of rifle units and the one reloads and the other shoots to cover the, the, re the reloading sides back. That's what they did. Yeah, the three-way strategy, that's what it's called indeed. Three-way strategies, yes. Reload, shoot, shoot, reload, reload, shoot. That, that one's basically, yeah, one shoots, one reload, and last one gets red. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's it, that's, that's it. So, Nomuraga knew that that was the weakness of the rifles, because when the rifles were introduced in Japan, everybody didn't like the rifles. Every single daimyo were like, this weapon is shit. This weapon is useless in combat. So no, everyone was like, "Ew, I don't like this weapon. What's the point of using this weapon?" But then when I was like, "Bitch, let me show you." And yeah, Mika, uh, the Battle of Nagashino, you know, it truly showed how to uh, how to use the rifles. There's also the reason why um, why Katsuyori failed at Nagashino. Not because he was stupid, he was stupid Katsuyori, Katsuyori did many things to, to destroy the Takeda already, but not only that, he also underestimated Yoda and the power of the rifles because of the rain, because it was raining, so they really thought that the rifles could be stopped by rain alone. That's not the case. Yeah, it could actually weaken a little bit, but, that, but not when you have like a chain of rifles connected to each other's. And when, and when basically uh, the cavalry started to get close, then you will shoot. You shoot from a close distance, you will definitely be effective. So, yeah. Considering how the target cavalry was fast, they will approach very close to the rifles. There's also not what's fucked them up. He designed the, the little roof thing so the rifles could be used during the rain. That's also true, yeah? We shall not be far behind. No, Nobunaga was basically like the one who literally mastered the art of rifles. Uh, 
Although, although rifles were used against him very often by the Psycho Mercenary, when Nobunaga had to deal with the with the Hiko set, with the monk, with the Buddhist set, the Hiko set, um, the Hiko set was supplied by the Mori. By the Mori clan, and the Mori clan also uh, provided them the Saka mercenaries, which the Saka mercenaries were very famous for their for their uh, musket for the musket uh, skills, led by Saka Magoichi, the leader of the of the Saka mercenaries, and but they were they were, it was a very famous group, the Saka, who gave so much our time to Nobunaga. So Nobunaga also had to face. Uh, uh, his own medicine as well because literally they gave him a very hard time the Saika and the Hiko set although in the end Nobunaga managed to, to fight to to, 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 uh, to defeat the Hiko set but uh, at heavy casualties he actually had a very hard bloodbath Nobunaga against the, the, the Buddhist army it wasn't easy for him to vanquish them Due to the Mori supplying them with uh, money and guns, the the Saka mercenaries, it was it was a, a, a probably one of the most problematic moments of Nobunaga. Uh, um, yeah, the Mori army literally kind of fucked up Nobunaga pretty bad, but in the end, Nobunaga managed to just to, to a night nice cost. That's Nobunaga's Nobunaga's favorite toy, Ramaru. There's also this rumor that Nobunaga slept with Ramaru, but I'm not sure if it's true because you can't really prove something like that, to be honest. I mean, it could be true, but at the same time, uh, no, I'm not sure. I mean, it's not. It's, it's possible because Nobunaga was open-minded at the end of the day, so Nobunaga tried many things, and it, it's definitely possible he tried that too. I won't exclude that, personally, that Nobunaga did something with Ramaru. I will not ex exclude it. It's a possibility. That I think, uh, yeah, it could have probably happen, but it's not even that relevant if you think about it. Who Nomunaga slept with? Oh wow, Nomunaga slept with with his, with, the, with his squire. Wow, big deal. <laughs> I know it's because at the time nobody did such things, but my life is expendable. I mean, uh, in later Japan years, when the Japan entered in a sexual uh, era, after the Tokugawa Shogunate was established, uh, Japan entered in a sexual era, and yeah, that's where um, uh, this, uh, you know, this started to arise. Also, the homosexuality started to arise as well in Japan. So yeah. Because uh, Japan uh, entering um, in a orny mode <laughs> in, uh, after the Tokugawa Shogun was established. So, yeah, they enter in orny mode. Uh, I do a guy here in the. Oh. Open, please. Thank you very much. Oh, fucking cannon here. I hate them so much. Worst unit ever. You will be eliminated. I like how he, his armor is basically this sty uh, styled uh, with Western and Japanese fe fe features. Like uh, Portuguese, it was Portuguese armor because Nomunaga was very close to Portugal and Luis Froes as well. It did trade a lot with Portugal. Because Portugal had the privilege to trade with Japan. 
It looks like some sort of a Japanese Dark Vader. Yeah, no, it looks like some Japanese Dark Vader indeed. Uh, because, uh, you know, Portugal uh, had, uh, had a privilege uh, to trade with Japan. So, yeah. That's why many Hemisphere of Portugal were sent to Japan, etc. Louis Froys. And, uh, yeah. Louis Froys, especially, like one of the most famous. Uh, ja uh, Portuguese trader uh, who had connection with Japan and especially Nobunaga. Yeah, the Dutch as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had privileged them people to trade with Japan, literally. Because it wasn't easy. Then they were all exterminated or chased away. Once the the Toyotomi uh, rise to power, and then the Tokugawa, the Tokugawa, um, be started the shogunate, which is I, I absolutely disagree because this is they made Japan what it is today, unfortunately, like close-minded and a problem with foreigners, because but today foreigners still something. Uh, they still, they still see foreigners as something, uh, like, especially elderly in Japan. They see foreigners as I don't know, as a men, as a menace or something that they, sh they should be avoided. This is what what bothers me. It's finished. We can all head back to Mikawa. My lord, please go on ahead. I still have a few loose ends. All right, Tarakatsu. I shall be waiting for you in Mikawa. Okay, well, everybody went back to Mikawa. We. Oh. This is something I have to settle. Interesting. Let's get this over with, Keiji. So, Keiji, oh my goodness, this. Okay, this is fun. Waiting for this Tarakatsu. This is actually pretty interesting. You see, fog appears. You don't know what's gonna happen. Um, K and you need to find Cage and kill him. That's awesome, actually. There, I think he is there. No, actually, yeah, I think he is. See troops. Why hiding though? Keiji, why are you hiding? <laughs> Don't hide Keiji, please. Just come just just let's finish this, dude. Can't see him. Settle this under the gods. Uh, yeah, but I don't see him. Music stopped. The music has stopped. Holy sh! This is the first time music stops in the Musou game, you know. <laughs> I swear, guys, I ne I never, I never witnessed anything like this. The music stopping. It's it's not a, a bug or anything. I mean, I think it is a bug because then it's not a bug actually. I think they forgot the developers forgot to put the the music on the loop. That's what that that's why. And there he is. Let's go make myself a legend. What can be gained from this? I know. What no point? This is no fucking point. Literally. Uh, they wanted to make Keiji the Lubu of Samurai Warriors, but then when Tarakatsu joined, uh, he stole the title, of course, because Tarakatsu Toriko is more Lubu than Keiji. So that, that's the point of this duel. To prove who's the real Lubu. The real Lubu of Samurai Warriors. 
Fun fight is actually a little in this game to fight. The secret boss fight. Do you got it? Are you happy now? You got what you wanted. Oh, that's not bad weapon, but no, no lightning, so no. Oh, that's got attack. Oh, yeah, but still no. No. That's good. We can get better weapons anyway. We nerded up on Nobunaga's life for a while. If you don't mind, I'm going to talk about so Solano Lopez for a minute so you see why I think he's the Nobunaga of Power. Okay, go ahead. I don't mind. Although I don't know who he is. <laughs> but I'm curious to know what, to, to know why he is uh, the Nobunaga of Paraguay. Ooh. <gasps> Whether we live or die, this is the last battle. No. <sighs> Going to do. to end sorry. But strength is also the knowledge that strength by itself is not. In other words, strength can cut dragonfly. Tom Bogiri means dragonfly cutter, by the way. Tom Bogiri is, is his spear. Oh, the dragonfly has not been caught. Nice. So that um, doesn't make any sense. It's, it's, it should not be called Tom Bogiri anymore. See, look, look how many dragonflies. Because <laughs> the Atrakatsu spear is called a Tom Bogiri. Tom Bogiri means dragonfly. So they show all dragonflies flying and on um, Tarakatsu spear. Right. Francisco Solano Lopez became president of the Paraguay in the mid 19th century. Under his presidency, he modernized the country extremely fast. Like in less than a decade. Though that's good. That's good. I mean, uh, bringing, your, bringing your country to a new era is always nice. He managed to get some British engineers to design and build a, a railroad system, the first in South America, to connect the country. That, that, that's good. He also built the first telegraph system in Paraguay, and he some oh, well, Jesus, tell me nothing. <laughs> that's definitely, that's, that, that's definitely a true modernization, really. I mean, that's definitely good. Hold on. I'm just cleaning my desktop. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could stop like that for a second. It's actually interesting. It is, seems like he, he did quite some good stuff. I mean, modernizing your country is good. Yeah, we should go with Nobunaga now. He built a shipyard to build steam engine ships again in the in the, in the, the first in South America. This is like he brought South America to like a new era. That's good.
ひとたび Death may await. Kill the fool. <laughs> I must be the one to kill you. If you are to fall here, I'll feel cheated. No. Nobunaga may seize the day. The shadow awaits. Ooh, we got we got Hansa scaring the shit out of us. Uh, as far as politics as far as politics go, he already got changed the the land ownership system. And basically, every person a small plot of, of land that they're from instead of giant landowners. I mean, one giant farm. This maximum production and Paraguay produces enough food for everyone, and he has surplus. That's good as long as you can provide food. Definitely, you must be a good person. If you can provide food for the people, you're automatically a good person. <laughs> Hello, Zeus. Welcome, welcome, welcome to stream. Hi. You're playing some some of the warriors. Now I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna at least do some of the Munaga story, and then uh, yeah, that, I'm gonna close the stream once I play some of the Munaga story. So Tadakatsu and the Munaga story. That's what I'm gonna play. The tragic part of the thing is it, it did all this without borrowing money from many foreign friends. Investors of Paraguay was the only nation in South America that did not have a nation of Jesus Christ, lucky them. Enemy's march can be slowed down. May be able lucky them! <laughs> they didn't have they didn't have debt and they did all that. You can get in debt even uh, with a with a glass of water nowadays. <laughs> not even joking, honestly. Foreign nationals like England really didn't like that. I mean, uh, it kind of just seems like jealousy to me. Because literally, if you're free dead while well, you're do all that, uh, that's the. I don't even see that possible personally to be dead free like that. Because doing what he did, it seems like he, that cost lots of money, and how can he not have an, even a single debt? That's weird, really, literally. Well, where, where did he get all the money? But that's that's good. That doesn't look right to me. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, if you can provide if you can provide food to the people, that's good. Because uh, if you feed people, you will automatically make an, an happy nation. So. Especially through in the in them days, because it was still the 19th century was still uh, <laughs> kind of medieval. Still, we do consider modern like uh, the 21st century, even the 20th. Although we're still not really modern at all, because we we have so many problems, honestly. He basically arrested like every rich person in the country under you guys are traitors and confiscated money. Then use the money to do all the stuff. Mm. I mean, that's a bit, I mean, yeah, of course you have, you have to steal. I mean, because no debts, debts free when you did all that. You can only steal, I suppose. If I knew something was not right. Because <laughs> he can't be that free with, uh, when doing all that. So obviously I had to steal. <laughs> the dark side is always the dark side. It, it, this is this is a, this is something uh, it, with everything. By the way, if you end up doing something good uh, and uh, it ends up very well, there is always a dark side behind some be, behind a, a good action. Yeah. That, that's 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 the 
unfortunately, that's reality. That there is always a dark side behind something, behind a good action. Uh, unfortunately, that's how it is, really. For example, you know, like uh, mafia stuff and everything, you know. Contra with mafias nowadays, the mafias end up helping poli pol politicians uh, that they are in contact with mafias. It is unfor unfortunate that's how it is nowadays. Hello. Ow, Hideyoshi, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Ow. I, I did defeat everybody here. Wait, I think I need to kill all the troops as well. Ah, let's do it. Okay, we did it. We found Yoshimoto's camp. The enemy's not on their guard. They're completely aloof. They must be reminded <sighs> of our superiority. Superiority, my ass. Have taken Yoshimoto's head. Follow me. Do not fall behind. Um, for more tragic sign, England saw Parga as a trial of their very profitable influence on in America, so they used the political le leverage to convince Argentina and Brazil that it was their best interest to invade Parga and remove Solano Lopez from power. Typical. Typical. Typical Chelsea. Literally. Ow. I recognize Noemi's voice actress. I recognize no Noemi's voice actress. I think she voiced uh, Rogue in Cyberpunk. Show these lowly brutes their place. Not sure though. Nah, I didn't care about the, 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 the mission, to be honest. Just gonna kill Yoshimoto. No, no, I'm gonna use the Kamari. Ow, stop, stop, stop. Alright, so I'm gonna announce that there's gonna be like a special stream tonight. 
So I will stop it here because oh. tonight we're gonna do a special stream. So you will see, you will see. Tr trust me, it's gonna be worth. It's gonna be worth. It's gonna be worth the wait. Oh, trust me. My fall was the war Pargels and as the war of the Triple Alliance. If it were not the bloodiest war in history. So like if, is that the? Seems the heavens. The first war of war, the Triple Alliance is, isn't that the first war of war? You'll suffer the same fate as I. Uh, uh. Perhaps so. My country dies with me. Wow. They're not the reshooting words, to be honest. Onigiri. <laughs> it's called Onigiri. You go, well, I still call Onigiri. Nobunaga likes Onigiris. <laughs> Alright. Onigiri. <laughs> nah, but we're gonna end the stream here because I'm probably just gonna do a stream tonight. Because uh, it's gonna be a special stream. So, thanks again for. Follow me this far, I do really, 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 really appreciate it. Thank you so much, honestly. Uh, tonight it was gonna be a, probably a special stream, uh, which we will see. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.